Human rights um, is about security as well as privacy and freedom of expression and um, people living healthy, dignified lives. Um, so it's not always the case that security is in opposition to human rights, but there is no doubt that security can be used in ways, can be uh, pursued in ways that violate people's human rights. Um, security personnel, whether they are, are the guards at the front of the university or the front of a, uh, of a business or a bar, as well as uh, policemen and women are trying to do a job and they're trying to keep us safe. Um, they can use technology that, that can help them in that effort, but that technology um, can have problems. First of all, it may not be particularly accurate. Uh, it may make mistakes about who it believes is in its facial recognition screen. And perhaps most worrying of all, of all is that data that's collected about where your face appears, whether it's on a screen or in a building uh, or out on the street, can be used by whoever obtains that data, whether it's the public service or private sector. And as we know these days, data is extraordinarily valuable, uh, financially valuable. So there are real security problems about holding that sort of information and obtaining it by virtue of things like facial recognition. So there's a great potential for human rights to be abused. I mean, a lot of it's got to do with how you control the use of the technology, who's using it, and then who gets access to the material that's collected. Uh, can we really be certain that that information would only be used by the law enforcement uh, uh, personnel or immigration officials? Um, well, if it stays entirely within their sphere and only in their sphere, maybe there can be s sufficient confidence in their data security arrangements. But if it starts to be used by a building, a business building in which you are entering, and therefore it's held by private sector security firms, can we be certain that all of them are going to have data protection uh, facilities and, and um, procedures that are going to s secure that information and make sure there's no leaks, it's not stolen, it's not misused, it's not accidentally lost. That happens all the time. Um, I don't think we can be confident about that. So um, in a way the onus should be on those who seek to use this information, to use this technology, to show how it will benefit our safety um, and how it will be regulated in a way that means it's not used or abused in ways that endangers our safety and our best interests. And I don't think that that's yet been proven. The technology is so enticing. People want to use the technology and they're not thinking sufficiently through the ethical uh, human rights and regulatory problems that flow from it. And I don't think facial recognition is alone in this. The whole idea, uh, the whole process of machine learning, of artificial intelligence, the, f the incredible pace of technology is raising these problems, these ethical and human rights problems, um, in ways that we're not able to grasp and, 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 um, uh, 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 and deal with and understand. Um, so it's not surprising that we have this conflict. So caution has to be, uh, precaution has to be uh, the principle that should be used here by those wanting to use the technology. Mm -hmm. I, I, I mean, <laughs> it can't be the industry. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the ultimate, actually, actually the ultimate answer to your question is us, the individuals. We should have uh, at least an input, if not control, over most circumstances, knowledge and control of most circumstances in which our uh, image is used. Um, at least the, the ability to be able to challenge it. 
So that is not our image or that is an incorrect use of our image. Just like we have with uh, the privacy of, of documents that are held by us, by this university or by an employer, we have a freedom of information. We have a right to know what information is held on our behalf. It may not deny that they can hold the information, but we have got a right to ensure that it's correct and that it's been correctly used. Um, However, of course, if you're tracking criminals or terrorist organizations or money launderers, you're not going to give them the opportunity to be able to wipe out their, their, uh, the images that are being held by a law enforcement agency. So I understand that there are limits here. Um, but going back to where I started, if it's not to be the individual that has total control, it's got to be a governmental regulatory body. That itself may not be full, foolproof. But it can't be industry, it can't be firms, the private sector, that can control your image. Uh, if they have um, your image for a reason that is allowed by law, then the legal regime, which has been sanctioned by the state, must be sufficiently rigorous and robust to ensure that that information is not misused. And really looking at the way in which leaks have occurred with um, Facebook, uh, for instance, um, and the misuse of information by Google and other tech giants, you've got to be concerned about um, how well that uh, protection is going to be afforded to us.